Look, Chess, I don't know what to say. Just leave it, eh? Get off me! I'm sorry. Yeah, go on, run away. Just like you ran away from the crash. Oh, mate, that's not fair. Don't make me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Agnes? Reckon you need to calm yourself down as well. I've got to go back to the hospital. Believe me, you're going nowhere in that state. Now, come and make yourself useful. Come on! I thought, uh... I thought you were the dentist. Yeah, I was. Yeah, in and out. Tony saw me at the bus stop. Took pity on me, didn't you? All right. Yeah, I just happened to be in town. It was her lucky day. Yeah, it was. Just missed one, hadn't I? Still, got a beer for my trouble. So, anyway, I'm gonna make the tracks. You know what? I'm gonna come with you, actually. Michelle, I've my guts for garters. Good day, Jess. Yeah, fine. Hey, babe, can I just just have a word a minute? Get it down, can it wait? I'm so late as it is. Come on, everybody out. Well, it wasn't really his place to have a go at you, was it? Well, to be fair, he is a brother. Of course, he's angry. I wasn't there for her. I should have taken oh, my yeah, phone. you should have taken your phone. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. But you know what? We all make mistakes, don't we, Owen? Well, she's going to be all right, isn't she? And that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll pop round and see you later on. But first, I'm going to go and see my son. Yeah, good of you to make the time. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, Mum, just leave it. No, if you're upset about something, don't start taking it out on him. Well, that's an order, is it? Oh. Oh, I'm going. Right, well, will you give him a kiss from me, please, love? Will do. I need to get back. No, you don't. You need to calm down. So just go and sit down. Sit! Now, this is what is going to happen. We are going to have a nice fresh brew, even though I see you've only got those cheap tea bags. Then I'll order a cab We'll get ourselves up to the hospital so I can see our Sinead. No, I need to go now. I phoned the hospital at dinner time. There's no change. The trouble with young people is they've got no patience. These things take time. And if you want to be there till she's up and about again... Of course I do. Then you've got to start thinking straight. There's no good running yourself into the ground, trying to be here, there and everywhere, you'll be no good to man the beast. I just want her to know that I'm there for her. She knows. Chesney, lad, you've got to be more like that Mo Farah. Pace yourself, else you'll never last the distance. I said I'd go back and watch a film with her, but I fell asleep. Got plenty of time to watch films with her. Now, you give her a ring. Tell her you'll be there in a bit. She'll be made up, your ear. Well, of course she will. Is this red top all you've got? Oh. Sinead, love, listen to me. The doctors, they're doing all they can to help you, right? But you've got to help yourself and all. What, so I'm just supposed to magically make myself walk, am I? Magic's got nothing to do with it. I remember when you were little and some idiot bought you a recorder for Christmas. Drove us mad, cos, of course, you didn't have a clue how to play it. We kept hiding it, you kept finding it. Do you remember? So... You took yourself off, and by the end of Boxing Day, you'd done it. It was only Michael rolled the boat ashore, but still. Oh, sweetheart. I know you're scared. Of course you are. I know you're worried about you and Chess. But really, there's no need. Because I know it's going to be fine. And you don't want to argue with me. You are a total lifesaver, thank you. Oh, you're joking. It was loads easy for Joseph to have someone to play with, even though I'm not too sure Max was keen on having a little of Jason around after him all day. <laughs> but you had a little shadow you couldn't shake off. Oh, I bet you loved it, didn't you? Can I go again? 
you have to wait until you're <laughs> invited. You can't just ask. No, it's fine anytime. So go on then. What did you get up to? No, wait, don't tell me. Is it football? Yeah. Then we had an ice cream and saw Mummy's friend. M Mum's friend? Who's that? Oh, it's Callum, weren't it, Max? What, and you let him play with Max? No, he's just on the street. Are you stupid? Oi, don't talk to me like that. Max knew him, he said he was his mate and he seemed OK. No, I, I, I'm sorry, thanks for looking after him. It's just, it's complicated, that's all. Uh, all right, night, see you later. Sorry, Katie, thanks. I'm going to do this, I don't think I'm ready. Listen, you mustn't let what Chesney said upset you. He's just worried about Sinead. And you can't let this whole accident thing get in the way of... Well, get in the way of you talking about your problem. Thanks for coming. Steve, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, if you're ready, we can go through. OK, thank you. Two-way mirror, is it? <laughs> hey, hey badum. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, love. Yes, what can I Fine, get? Fine, please. Uh, I think you'll find I was next. I think you'll find you wasn't, Norris. Well, if you had ensured that you had sufficient stock before you started serving, you wouldn't have had to waste time going in the cellar. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Cheers for that. See, that, that's the trouble with service folk these days. Nobody gives a job for customer satisfaction. Norris, I've got one pair of hands. What is it that you want? Well, you know I want... Just, 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 just a minute. Hello? Yes, Norris Cole. <laughs> yes, I know you should have been here an hour ago. Right. What can I get you? Can I have two orange juices, please? Yeah, I know exactly what the time was because I dialed one, two, three. No, I, I, I do not want delivery in the morning. I want it now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, what you'll do is you will ring me when you're five minutes away and then I will return to the premises. Thanks, girls. I, I, excuse me, I think I was the next one. You were on the phone. Norris, it's done. Oh. I think you owe me an apology. Oh, uh -huh. I was teaching a lesson. In. Yep. Someone's about to. No, the place is in a right mess. Brick dust everywhere. Look, if you didn't want to come, you should have said so. I haven't said I didn't want to come. I'm fine. I'll have a red wine, please. Well, sit down here. Right. I'll tell you, Tracy Barlow would sell her own daughter if the price was right. So we in? Nothing. Fine. You say so? Did you find Eva earlier? Oh, yeah. I found her, all right. Sounds ominous. My dad, he was there and all. Yeah, well, I've always got them well, them two. Yeah, they get on, you're right. Come on, Spill, what's going on? That's exactly what I want to know. What? You're kidding. What? Eva and Tony? No. No, don't be daft. Nothing like that. It was just something about them. Like, they've been found out. So what exactly is it you think they're up to? Like I said, Todd, I don't know. She said that he gave a lift home from town and... I don't know, it was just something about the way they were acting. Yeah, well, maybe... Uh, well, I, I reckon she might be right, you know. Just oh, leave thank it, yeah. you. According to Dr Doolittle here, pigs cannot look up at the sky. <laughs> but I've seen babe eight times. Good luck with him. Todd, put kettle on. That jolly was ace. Are you going to eat these bourbons? No, you can have a... <clears throat> yeah. I'm really sorry. You're here now. You're not going to let him off the hook that easy. What's the surprise, then? It better not be a box of out-of-date chocks from Devs. Since you asked. For goodness sake, let the dog see the rabbit, will you? Cheesy! Hello, Chucky. Fine visit, is it? Don't be daft. She's my great-granddaughter. Agnes is staying at ours. Ours? How long for? For however long it takes. You all right? Yeah, you. Mm. Right. You two can go and get me a fresh brew from the cafe. You've only just got here. Oh, and a bun or something to tide me over. 
It's all right if I take these bourbons. Yeah. It's nice to see you too. Mm. Right, where's your chart? It's just there, but I don't think you meant to look at it. Good surprise. Great surprise. I'm sorry about the film, but there'll be loads more. I know. I suppose the first question to ask is why are you here? Uh, thank you. <clears throat> well, um, I don't know, really. Uh, Steve, I can assure you there are no two-way mirrors and that everything you say here stays here. Yeah, sorry. I've, I've, I've never done anything like this before. Hmm. It's not a problem. We go at your pace, OK? Maybe we can go back to what brought you here. Most people aren't used to talking about themselves. It's uh, perfectly natural to feel self-conscious. <sighs> Just take your time. Son was born out of a collapsing cloud of hydrogen. Yes, and Dr. Brian Cox. Was oh, on... in with the hair. He used to be a pop star. <laughs> Ridiculous. He's a, he's a physicist, an astronomer, a doctor. Yeah, well, Dr. Schmoxer, he used to play the keyboard or piano or something. Uh... Okay, Gary. You're right. Yeah, no, you. Yeah. Oh. I find it difficult to imagine a man who is capable of explaining the wonders of the universe would get involved in anything so utterly trivial as pop. I love astrology programs, mate. <laughs> astronomy, not astrology. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, you know, the black hole and that. Mm. I find it really interesting. So, um, Norris, what's the most interesting thing that you've seen through your telescope? Hmm. Well. <laughs> I, I, I think it was probably the first time I saw Jupiter. You see, because it has this big red spot on it. And the longer you watch it, it, it seems to be changing all the time. Mm. And, and Saturn's pretty impressive as well. Yeah, yeah, really impressive. Thanks, Norris. Yeah, sorry, he was playing up to the camera. Aww. He's been dead funny. Oh, bless him. Oh, we get that one printed up for me? Yeah, of course I will. Do you want a drink? No. I'm all right, thanks, love. You took some lovely pictures of Jake, didn't you? Ah. Well, at least it reminds you what it looks like, eh? I mean, you know, now you've got a new girlfriend and all that. Do you know what? I think I'll leave that drink. I'm going to shoot off and see Alia. All right. I don't know what you expect him to do. Of course he wants to be with her. I'd have been in a right state if that had happened to me. Yeah, well, my daughter's in the right state because of him. Still is, as far as I know. Why are you doing this? They both know it's over. They've had to move on. Is he accepts that? Why can't you? No, love. She's had to accept it because those two lovebirds are rubbing her face in it, OK? But, and you seem to you, think... You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm not doing it again. Not doing what? I'm not doing this. I'm not siding with you. I'm not going to let him down. For some reason, you just seem to get pleasure out of that. Well, not this time, sorry. Steve, I know how difficult it's been for you to even be here today. Let alone open up about what made you do it, so small steps is fine. <clears throat> so, I, 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 um... I just feel like I've let everybody down. Michelle, 
my mum, my business partner, and my daughter. I mean, why should they care about me? I wouldn't. And then there's this bus crash, and uh, I was driving, and th there's this girl, Sinead. She's in hospital. All the family ate me, and everyone else, everybody else that was on the bus uh, reckoned it was my fault, and... Steve, you can't possibly know how these people feel. <sighs> well, I was on my way here in Chesney, who's um, Sinead's boyfriend. He attacked me in the, in, 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 in the street. Maybe that was more out of fear and frustration at their own situation rather than any genuine deep-seated hatred of you. You've got to focus on yourself, how you feel. Mm. But your, uh, your bosses, the, uh, the archbishops or whatever, do they know you're gay? <laughs> they know. Hmm? Uh, thank you, Todd. It's all above board. Mm. Right, I'm ready. Uh, you sure you don't want to come? No, you're all right, Mum. How about you? Um, no, you're all right. I'll uh, give it a miss. See you now. <clears throat> right, come on then, missus. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> you're not still brooding over your dad and Eva, are you? Most books have been made up with their mum and dad like the girlfriend. I mean, if Tony and Eva are close... Close? That... What, you, you think they're close? Well, not close, but you know what I mean? They just get on really well. They always seem with the Reds together, you know, laughing, friendly. You can't seriously be bothered if your dad and your girlfriend are hitting it off. I think it should be made up that you think so much of her. Cinnamon and orange. Yeah, it's my favourite. Reminds me of you. Hey, no one said out about I need a mouth to mouth, you know. Oh, leave the lad alone. Did you find the doctor? I did. He knows who he's dealing with now. Now, I'm going to be coming in every day, and that'll give our lad and we a bit of a break. I don't need a break, I'm fine. You and me are going to fall out. Oh, you don't want to be doing that. But Gran's right. While she's here, let her pick up all the slack. Oh, thanks. Sorry, Ron. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? No, uh, you know. Sorry, stupid question. Bit of a cliche, but... Oh, thanks, Ty. All right. Look, I won't stop long. I just sort of bob my head in. Jazz, never word. I'll be back in a tick. Thanks, Ty. See you in a bit. Right. So, have you ordered your breakfast? <laughs> I just wanted to explain about earlier. He was in a right state, so I was just trying to calm him down. I'm sorry for going off on one. Don't be daft. All the strain you're under, it's understandable. But listen, if you need anything, any help with Joseph or whatever while you're here, just ask. Cheers, mate. You should be all right, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just sat there like a useless lump of lard. Come on now, stop that. Of course you're going to find it hard to open up. You're a fella for a start. Seriously, babe, you've done the hard bit by admitting that you need counselling. Just try and remember that the therapist is there to help you and it will get better. I promise. You do know I'm going to see you through this, don't you? All right, Eileen, get the drinks in, cock. What? Beg your pardon. Oh, forget it, I thought you said something. No. What is that? What's what? What's your phone? It's, it's, it's the talking clock. Yeah. Well, you, you must have forgotten to switch it off. Well, I, I rang them earlier, but I've made another call since then. Well, either way, it'd be costing you 30p a minute, so I'd switch it off if I were you. 
I, I, I shall make a complaint about that. Go oh, on, boys. Mm. Yes. No, I have not been on the phone. <laughs> I wanted to get you a custard apricot Danish, because I know they're your favourite. Oh, thanks, Craig. You're a little star, you are. What's that? A DVD player. I thought, because you haven't been here a while, you might want to watch some films. I couldn't find Princess Bride, but... Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, wicked. Oh, thanks, Craig. I was thinking I could bring you a different one in every day. You know, until you get better. That's a great idea, babe. Now, I reckon we ought to leave these two in peace. Yeah. Bye, Sinead. See you, Sinead. Try, darling. Bye. Are you coming back with us? I am. Don't remind me. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye-bye, darling. Bye, Gigi. And get us a couple of box sets to watch if you like. Yeah, that'd be good. What do you fancy? <laughs> what? What is it? Do it again. Just touch my leg. <sighs> I can feel it, Jess. I can feel it. Wait there, I'll get someone. Two weddings and a funeral. That's how this series of Mr. Selfridge began, and it continues this Sunday at nine when Harry is running out of allies. Coming up this Friday night, comedy time, Joyce gets some bad news from the big boss of the Solana Group. It's Joan Collins. Ben Adorm is next on ITV.